take this anymore, and I don't know the way out. I'm not useful to anyone. Please tell my family I'm sorry for everything. The Facebook user there who appears to have taken a decision to take their own life. Well, the platform already has tools for people who see uh, concerning posts and want to help friends or family. And these are now being enhanced with the use of artificial intelligence and ways to enable users watching live video to contact the person directly or report the video to them. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline in the US has worked closely in the past with Facebook. I asked its director, Dr. John Draper, what's innovative about these new tools? There's actually three things that they're doing now that are a little different. One is that all of the technologies that I was just about to kind of describe are now being surfaced for Facebook Live to make it also available for people who are watching a video. That's something that's new. The second thing they're also doing is uh, providing a pilot program. They developed a way to connect with crisis counselors via messenger. So in the event that somebody is reported as suicidal to a very limited degree, and it's mostly being piloted at this stage, messenger might be available uh, to connect a person to a counselor uh, in real time. Uh, the third thing that, that they've also developed is uh, uh, it's an artificial intelligence approach, basically a machine learning approach that helps to actually determine whether a person might be suicidal so the system or the network does not necessarily have to rely exclusively on people reporting an individual. What are the trigger words that uh, might alert this um, algorithm? From our standpoint, there's the obvious ones uh, that people will say uh, that I'm going to kill myself and uh, I feel hopeless, I, I want to be dead, or actually you know, broadcasting photos or something that indicates that they're in the process of killing themselves or collecting the means for doing so. Those are the, the obvious ones, but you know, there's quite a number of your typical signs and signals of suicide that are obvious, and there may be some that are less so. Uh, but then, of course, um, r rather more, more tragically and more blatantly, there are those um, live streamings of um, suicides online, such as occurred um, with a 14-year-old girl in Miami. Yes, and, and while those are have been rare thus far, when they occur, they are horrific. So those are, are clearly incidences that alerted Facebook to making sure that, that they extend their priority for suicide prevention to Facebook Live. I mean, were there to be another such incident like that, um, how quickly could your organization react? Well, the way that the reporting mechanism works is that there is typically, in the event that Facebook Live is showing something like this, and this is the innovation here that is basically applying what are done to regular posts now to a video, which is that viewers would be able to immediately report um, friends, family who may be watching, could be able to report to Facebook what's going on. Um, and they also might recognize where the person is uh, in a way that Facebook may have a hard time doing. And so friends and family seeing it can do more about it in the moment, um, not only by reporting it to Facebook, but also being aware of it and, and acting themselves. That was uh, Dr. John Draper, director of the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline.